So, what is going on guys? I am Black Ops Amazing. Welcome back to another Zombies video where today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Magma Gat in Blood of the Dead. This is a brand new upgrade to the Blunder Gat for this map. Of course, in the original, we had the Acid Gat, but this time, whilst you still can get that upgrade, there is a new one called the Magma Gat. And this is your simple guide on how to get it. So, of course, the first thing that you will need is the Blunder Gat itself. You can get this weapon two ways. Either you can get it simply out of the mystery box. I actually find that it's not really that rare of a weapon, so you should get it after a few spins. Or you can also get it for free by doing a few simple steps. If you do want to get it for free, I made a separate video called Top 5 Things in Blood. Check it out. In the description, I will post a timestamp stamp of exactly when I start talking about how you can get that weapon for free. But once you've got yourself the Blunder Gat, it is very simple from here. So what you need to do is make your way all the way down to the Warden's house. It is basically all the way at the other end of the map if you're coming from spawn. But if you make your way to the Warden's house, you will see in here he has a fireplace. What you need to do is place your Blunder Gat inside of here. And when you do, a blue glow will surround all of the windows and doors of the house. And what you now have to do is kill zombies inside of here. When you kill them, their souls will be collected and they will go into the fireplace. So that's what you need to do. You need to kill zombies in the house so their souls go into the Blundergat. Now, this isn't easy. I would say it takes just over a round of zombies. That's how many zombies you have to kill in the house. You don't have to stand by the fireplace. You can run around, but the zombies have to be killed inside of the house in order for this to work. You can go outside and buy more ammo if you want to, but the zombies have to be killed inside. And you will see on top of the fireplace, there are three skulls. And you will know you have completed this when all three of those skulls have lit up blue. They will eventually light up one by one the more zombies you kill, letting you know how far in progress you are. So you can see right now, I have two lit up. But once all three skulls have lit up, this step is now Done. Now for the next part, I would recommend that you do it at the end of the round. I would save a couple of zombies and do this next step then because for this bit, it is going to be timed. So you have to be quick. Now, if you do fail, don't worry, you can just start it over again. But what you need to do is take your Blundergat out of the fireplace. You will see that it has a blue flame on it. And then what you need to do is run all the way to the other end of the map. But you can't run straight there as the flame on your gun will extinguish. And so on your your way you are going to see trash cans that are lit up blue and you need to stop by each and every one of them for a second so that it reignites the flame on your blunder guards and you can then carry on so as you can see by what i'm doing you have to reach each bin in time you literally have to run you can't stop for a second hence why i said it's better to do it at the end of the round so you don't get distracted if your flame does end up going out you can go back to the fireplace and just do it again but as you see by what i'm doing you have to run to each and every bin on your way to the other end of the map literally when you get to the next one just stand by it for a second and then keep moving but when you get to the final one it is just outside of the industry's building you then need to run inside place the blunder gat down on this press machine a bunch of ghosts are going to come out and then turn the machine on it will close for a second it will then open back up and you now have the magma gat and that is how to get the new variant of the blunder gat in blood of the dead it's really a simple step all you need is to get the blunder gat first like i said i just get it from the box it's easier in my opinion or if you're just playing generally you're probably gonna have it at some point anyway and then literally all you've got to do is place it in the fireplace kill zombies inside of the warden's house and then take it all the way to the new industries building and put it in this press obviously also making sure that your flame stays alight on the gun whilst you're making your way there so there we go that is it for this video hopefully you have enjoyed if it's helped you out drop a like rating make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest zombies videos and of course we'll see you all in the next video until then goodbye